Hey, Crypto Growth Fam, how's it going? This is your host, Shahzeb, signing in. We're back with another video, guys. In this video, we will be discussing Stellar XLM, new economic framework. It's going to be an interesting one, guys, so make sure to watch till the end. And folks, for those of you who are new to the channel, we primarily discuss utility coins and potential gems. If you're interested in any of that stuff, then subscribe the channel and hit the notification icon for regular videos. And you can also support the channel by becoming a Patreon, so do check that out as well only if you're interested and folks keep your assets safe and for that you guys can check out the crypto growth exclusive discount offer on decent decent is convenient safe and secure you can check out their biometric wallet which has got an astonishing 50 dollars off and you can also check out their biometric wallet 2x package guys which has got an attractive 129 dollars off only if you follow the link in the description box below by the way, folks, Decent supports 3,000 plus of your favorite coins and tokens, and it supports 50 plus blockchain mainnets, including Stellar. I personally prefer storing the assets in a cold hardware wallet, so do check out Decent and be safe. Anyways, guys, now let us look into the price and chart of XLM. Let's see what it has been up to lately. So, guys, uh, yeah. So, at the moment, uh, nothing much has changed, guys, for XLM. It is still uh, hovering above some crucial support levels in the in the all time chart, as you can see over here. Some crucial crucial uh, support levels, guys. Yeah, some crucial levels. Let's hope that the price uh, finally comes back and uh, kills the zero. I, in my opinion, this ten cent level is a crucial psychological level. The nine cent, nine and a half cent, ten cent level. Let's hope that the price remains above it because eventually it's going to be going up if it remains uh, above it. Anyways, guys, uh, let's see what's happening with the X XLM community. I've, I've brought a really great and interesting post for you guys, which we will see in a moment over here, this one. But uh, check this out. This from Edo Farina XRP. Serious question. Why use Ethereum or Card Cardano when everything can be built cheaper, faster, and more energy efficient on Stellar XLM. Yeah, uh, we're going to be looking at, into the comments uh, in a moment. Just uh, so, yeah. In a not so distant future, I predict that uh, XLM will experience a surge in popularity and the price will be a reflection of its usefulness. Awesome, guys. So, this is the post I was talking about, guys. This is a really good write up. Uh, you can see from the comments as well a really good write-up guys let's see what mr dragon slayer wants to say uh, say guys drag he or she guys a, a phenomenal write-up a lot of people have uh, basically uh, commended it i have liked it as well and uh, reposted it look at this the 3x xrp xlm xdc Points most people don't realize. Trust in what you decide because the truth is first you. If truth is first what you decide it to be, why do I always mention R3 Gord Corda? Because it is a key player in the next financial economic framework. I don't sell a book. I just provide my own analysis about my many topics, and I'm pretty sure 99% will never be ready to hear about it. They will come to try to take everything from you and I think that uh, even our physical wallets like those on Ledger and others are not as safe as that but it is better to have them than to see your computer or phone hacked remotely and one day wake up and want to slap yourself according to the latest news. Thanks to the internet researchers who are individuals we are learning that various platforms like Binance can seize your cryptos and the same will apply to your NFT regardless of the platform. So guys, he's basically building an argument over here, talking about different stuff. I really like how he has basically uh, built it up. So look at this. One of the most important points to mention about the usefulness and operation of the upcoming social, economic and financial system concerns what we call fees. As everyone who has ever used a crypto wallet knows, transaction fees are applied by the network. I'm not talking about the fees that exchanges like Binance, Kraken, ETC take into their pockets. It takes thousands of transaction or transactions on XRPL before these fees correspond to one token before one unit is burned and lost forever. The important point I want to emphasize is this. The whole world will use these value exchange pro protocols 
What I mean is that institutions, states, you and I will all use these protocols because decision makers have adopted them. Many say that I am off topic when I talk about ISO 20022, but these messaging systems have been adopted by the states to exchange various things. Uh, meaning that raw materials or currencies traded by the states must be compatible with these protocols, guys. So look at this. Uh, it goes without saying for XRP, which has 100 billion tokens. It will take centuries before their number is re reduced to zero. This number of 100 billion is also the reason why it won't be Bitcoin. Because you can imagine that it would only take a few years if everyone used BTC to burn all the tokens. Many only talk about how much they will sell their cryptos for, and it is a mistake to not to only see that, guys. Understand that commerce and finance will only have a maximum number of actions that can be realized based on the number of tokens they hold. Imagine that states absolutely need these protocols to exchange various things among themselves, such as food, supplies of all kinds, even weapons, guys. What do you think will happen when these states and institutions use these universal value exchange protocols? Do not view these cryptocurrencies as money. They are not currencies, but possible actions that can be realized. Guys, from this I can decipher is that although XRP has uh, such a huge amount as, as a lot of people say, but if it is used in a in such a uh, it's it's in such a profound way and significant way, guys, you can only imagine the value of uh, the asset that it is. I mean, and uh, the value is subjective. It can it depends on uh, it varies from person to person, guys. But for the new financial framework, for the new financial system, these are uh, these assets can be huge. The Internet of Value is still in its prehistory, it, it just like computing, but in a few decades, it will be as commonplace as we use our phones. Their price due to the deflationary model will only increase, and the more tokens we burn, the fewer possible actions will remain within the network, guys. Uh, do, do not see this as money nor, or, nor as stocks. See it as an absolute necessity to do everything and anything on the next Internet the internet of value, even the metaverse, which is actually a place for everything and anything, while many think it is just a headset that some put on their head. Whether people use VR is up to them because the metaverse does not need any headset or bionic implant or augmented reality lenses. Uh, a really interesting read. Even he has talked about Resident Evil or Silent Hill. Look at this. I no longer have this headset, which I sold years ago, but I'm sure that immersion in video games like Silent Hill or Resident Evil must be a crazy experience. The entire internet of tomorrow will need these protocols. By the way, the Res Silent Hill 2 remake, I am eagerly waiting for that, guys. Uh, if someone is a gamer, they can hit the comment box below. For uh, Anyways, because I really like uh, gaming. Anyways, and don't say it's because of R3, Zinfin, Ripple, or Stellar, nor us who are trying to warn you. Why I always mention R3 Coda, because it is a monster of the next financial ecosystem framework. For the younger ones who don't understand the technical or financial aspects, at the end of the Majin Buu arc, Goku could no longer use his Kamehameha because he was out of resources, guys. He's he has he's refer referencing things I like, Silent Hill, Resident Evil, uh, Dragon Ball. Anyways, that's exactly what I'm talking about when I can't mention possible actions. As for the others, still stuck on cash stories. By the way, guys, I know that uh, R3 Coda can be uh, uh, what it can provide us. But guys... Uh, uh, Zinfin, Ripple, Stellar, guys, these can be huge in and of itself as well. Uh, yeah, look at this. That's exactly what I'm talking about when I mentioned possible actions. Uh, a really interesting read. Or, uh, okay, uh, or who explained to you what system money is and what is injected into the real economy, but never dare to say that these fiat currencies are worth zero because they have printed too much? And who would have their arguments and status as experts and financial analysts put into a painful state in just a few seconds? And you all know that that is worth zero. Guys, I would like to add one thing over here. This is indeed uh, one of the facts that uh, despite unlimited supply of these currencies, uh, rarely have I heard people saying that, yeah, USD doesn't have value or USD is worthless. Yeah, there are people that are into crypto they're saying that but i'm talking about the real world 
the physical world, people do not mention that. I mean, they know inflation is real, they know everything, but uh, they won't say that these currencies have time and again failed us. Even a child could tell you that, but feel free to believe in what you want to vote for Macron twice in a row. Okay, so this is some political stuff. Uh, anyone can vote for what they, who they want anyways. And for those who ask me why billionaires don't buy these cryptos, know that the depopulation program of the useless concerns everyone and that for the cult, it is of no use in their circle of high-ranking people to have among them idiots who only spend their time on their yacht drinking champagne. Okay. A really, a really interesting read, guys. It is filled with conspiracy theories, gaming, a, a really interesting read. Although I agree with certain elements and I don't, but overall, uh, I really think that this was indeed a really good read, guys. You have to check it out. Anyways, guys, let me uh, show you some comments over here as well. Why use Ethereum or Cardano when everything can be built cheaper, faster, and more energy efficient on Stellar? I've never used any other cryptocurrency for sending money except Stellar and Ripple because their transaction costs are low and the speed is unbeatable. When I first bought crypto in 2017, I was sending with BTC and my money was just disappearing. They will be useless, my opinion. Anyways, 99% of the crypto will disappear. Who's the 1%? It is because they don't have enough developers interested in the platform because, well, we're still early. Okay, both Ethereum and Cardano have broad visibility and support and their user base and investor base have demonstrated long-term trust in them. Brand influence and market recognition uh, are also important factors. Ethereum has like the first mover advantage, even though it sucks, <laughs> people still use it because they that's all they know. That is where they have their money. Anyways, guys, what do you guys think about Stellar XLM and all these other uh, utility assets? Do you think that uh, they are building a new economic framework? I would really like your opinions. Do hit the comment box below and let the community know. Anyways, guys, this was it for the video. If you liked it, make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification icon if you're interested in utility coins and potential gems and you can also su support the channel by becoming a patreon so do check that out like i always say in the end until next time stay blessed and stay tuned thank you very much everyone